A very good morning, Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Today is your 263rd day of a godly blessing, and uh, let's go ahead with this godly blessing. What does Baba have to say? Let's check that out. Baba says, "May you be doubly, doubly, non-violent, and constantly experience happiness and peace." If you are violent, we'll never experience happiness and peace. That means it's not about just giving a slap to somebody or hitting somebody or murdering somebody. That's not just the definition of violence over here. God is talking about the spiritual non-violence act. So let's see that. What is godly spiritual non-violence act over here? Baba says, by remaining stable in your Sato Pradhan stage. So what is Sato Pradhan stage? Is the stage of complete purity where I have no defects in my thoughts. I am completely pure, and I've got nothing against anybody. I don't see any negativity in anybody. I have no complaints about anybody. I am not blaming anybody. That's the sign of complete non-violence. So Baba says over here. Baba says, constantly remain stable with your Sato Pradhan sanskars. That is what is required. Stability in that pure stage, which we keep on fluctuating in. So then, God says, and experience peace and happiness. This is true non-violence. The true non-violence is when we are in a complete pure stage. We are completely happy and peaceful. Then only we can give anybody else happiness and peace, as we spoke about it in yesterday's Vartan too. Then Baba says, this is true non-violence. Violence means anything through which you experience sorrow and peacelessness. So if you use any words which are impure and you actually strike people through your words then you yourself will be in sorrow and peacelessness that is god's law it is not the other person who is responsible we ourselves are responsible that is what we learn in spirituality so check what is to be supposed to be checked throughout the day do i commit any type of violence do i speak such words do i think such thoughts which are leading to peacelessness and sorrow within my own mind in my own life and then i give that peacelessness and sorrow to other people because that's what i'm creating within so the baba says if you make someone's stage fluctuate with your words that too is violence first point that means godly spiritual knowledge says that if you are actually using words to put down somebody you want to correct somebody but you're using such words such methods in which you are actually making the other person who is content and happy and over a period of time ready to change but you are pushing hard you want that person to change immediately then you are creating violence on a spiritual term because you're giving unhappiness and sorrow to that soul not a physical one maybe but mental so that is also violence mental violence if you are suppressing your satopradhan stage now second point if you're suppressing your sato pradhan stage that means okay in this situation i better shout at this person in this situation i be greedy in this situation i have to be angry that means you are using the opposite qualities from virtues to vices then if you are suppressing your sato pradhan sanskar sato pradhan are viceless sanskar that means virtuous sanskars if you're suppressing those qualities and putting other sanskars in a practical form that is also violence because you're using greed jealousy ego or you're creating that kind of atmosphere that is also violence so what will happen to those souls who are creating this violence on a daily basis if you're creating sorrow and unhappiness in somebody else's life what are you going to get back that's why many people when they leave their body or what we call as death they are suffering during those last couple of months why because they have given so much of unhappiness and sorrow to other people they have used their whole life changing the whole world around using the energies using anger sh- shouting at other people to bring them down to change them and they realize at the end of the death bed that i used all my energies to change other people whereas i could have changed myself so easily and i would have been more healthier i would have peacefully left my body during the time of death which they realize at the end so spirituality helps us to not to realize that at the end but to realize right now baba says therefore become refined and have the awareness of being a great soul and doubly non-violent so refined in what in our thoughts words and actions and not give any kind of negative or imbalancing effect on anybody in their life 
that is what god wants us to do for whose sake for our own sake so i leave you with this beautiful word and if you think that you need to change yourself do comment down below and what is the change you need to bring keep it to yourself so have a blessed day om shanti